welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about loci. Loci is the plural of locus. Let us first discuss what is locus. Locus is basically a collection of points. which satisfy a given condition. So we can say that locus of a point is the path through which a point moves to satisfy a given condition or conditions. The locus of a point can be a straight line or a curve and from this definition of the locus we conclude two things first that every point lying on the locus which can be a straight line or a curve will satisfy the given conditions and also every point satisfying The given conditions will lie on the locus which could be a straight line or a curve. Now we will discuss some loci. Let us see one condition in which we have a fixed point, say point O, which lies in a plane and we have another point X, which moves around this fixed point O at a constant distance from it. Consider the fixed point O and this point X. This point X moves around the fixed point O and let this X1, X2, X3 and so on the different positions of the point X when it moves around this fixed point O. So by the condition which is given to us, we have that this point X moves around this fixed point O at a constant distance. So this means OX would be equal to OX1 would be equal to OX2 would be equal to OX3 and so on and let this constant distance be equal to say A and it is obvious that all such points that is X, X1, X2, X3 and so on will lie on the circle with center O 
and the radius of the circle would be a from this we can conclude that the locus of all such points that are equidistant from a fixed point is a circle now let us discuss another condition in which we have a straight line pq in a plane and the moving point say x moves in a straight line at a constant distance above and below the straight line PQ. Consider the straight line PQ in the plane and we have this moving point X which moves in a straight line at a constant distance above and below the straight line PQ. Now as we know that the distance of a point from a line is the length of the perpendicular drawn from that point upon that line. So all the points which are at a constant distance from the straight line PQ in the plane will be on the straight lines which are on the both sides of the straight line PQ and those two lines would be parallel to PQ. So we have these lines XY and AB. These both lines are parallel to the given straight line PQ. And also as you can see XY is above the line PQ and AB is below the line PQ. And also these two lines are at a constant distance say A from the straight line PQ. So in this case we can say that XY and AB these two lines are the required loci when we are given a straight line and a point which is at a constant distance from the given straight line. Let us consider this condition in space. In space we have a straight line PQ and a moving point X as you can see, it forms a cylinder. So we can say 
that in space the locus of all such points which are at a constant distance from the given straight line PQ form a cylinder with PQ as the axis and the perpendicular distance X on PQ as the radius. Let's now discuss another condition. In which we are given two fixed points. P and Q in the plane and the point X moves in the plane such that Its distances from the fixed points P and Q always remain equal. Consider the two fixed points P and Q and we have this point X which moves such that its distances from P and Q always remain equal. So as this point X moves to X1, the distance of X1 from P and Q would also be equal. That is, we have Px would be equal to Qx and Px1 would be equal to Qx1. And this line is the perpendicular bisector of PQ so we can conclude that the locus of all such points is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two fixed points. That is in this case it would be the perpendicular bisector of PQ. Let's now move on to the other condition in this we are given an angle say angle PQR in a plane and we have a point X Inside the angle PQR such that the point X moves at equal distances From the arms PQ and QR of angle PQR and the arms of the angle PQ and QR are of indefinite lengths. Consider this angle PQR in the plane 
and the arms of these angles that is PQ and QR are of indefinite lengths, we have a point X in the interior of angle PQR and this point X moves at equal distances from PQ and QR. So, this distance would be equal in the same way if the position of this point X is say X1 then also this distances would be equal. And so we can say that the locus of all such points is the angle bisector of the given angle. Next we will discuss how to find the locus of a point. We can do this by two methods. First method is by reasoning or guesswork. In this method to find the locus of a point, we first mark the points satisfying the given conditions and then we guess that what straight lines or curves form the locus. Then also we prove that the guess is correct. Now we have another method to find the locus of a point and that method is by plotting the points now this method is used when the first method of reasoning or guesswork is failed. In this method, we plot all the points and then join them by freehand to obtain the locus. And when we get the locus, we can see if that locus is correct or not by checking that every point on the locus satisfies the given conditions and if all the points satisfy the given condition, then they should lie on the locus. Next we have the points of intersection of loci. The point that satisfies many geometrical conditions lies on the point of intersection of those loci each of which is the locus of that point
according to given conditions. So if we are given a point which satisfy many geometrical conditions, then this point would lie on the point of intersection of those loci which are the locus of this point according to the given conditions.